picture saw from uh, from the top side of the bench and I'll cut that through from the other side which I think I know this is just if I cut this mortise a little too big my tenon is going to be loose so I'm just laying out the top of my table here for my mortises the mortise are the female portion of the mortise and tenon joint the tenons being the male and that's what we cut uh, in the last video so I've just cut my table here and I'm laying out all my joints before I drill I'm going to chisel out a quarter inch or so down from the surface. This is spruce. This is a real soft wood. So even though my brace bits are are real nice and sharp, this spruce still wants to tear out and it'll pull out the wood fibers here. Uh, I believe the biggest bit I have is a one inch. So I'll have to drill probably multiple holes here just to clear out a lot of that wood. And then uh, use my framing chisel and really start hacking it out. I'm just going around here now and marking them out first. I'll do all four of them like this and then uh, I'll keep going from there. So I spent a nice while cutting those mortises on the bottom of the table and now I'm just tracing them through as you can see right here the top side so I'm, I figure I'm about a half inch from coming through the top only about a half inch and uh, since I've been hacking away so long at all the meat inside that table because I'm going through for by material. I want to make sure now when I start on top again and I need those perfect lines that my chisel is nice and crispy sharp. So I'm just giving a little bit of stropping just making sure we're on point here. There is that two inch chisel. Look at that edge. It's been an amazing tool today. An amazing tool. My matching one inch. I didn't use quite as much today, but I still used it a fair amount. So I'm going to give it a little touch up as well. A 
and I'll take my knife wall right from that. Got a little bit more time again, so I'm back in the shop. And I've just, uh, I've been working on those mortises, getting them, and they're almost there. I'm probably able to pound them through now, but I'll do a little bit more cleaning on the leg posts. I'm starting to cut out the cross, cross members, the cross braces for the legs. And uh, those are gonna be four by four, cut down with a two and a half inch tenon as well. So I've got my knife wall cut all the way around, and I just ripped in all dimensions here all the way down so all that's left is to cross cut and these pieces will be able to be removed I don't have a long ways to cut I'm just going to back my saw right up against the knife wall it's only about a half inch or so So there's my first dimension and you see the lines here where I've cut so now I just need to flip it quickly and make that exact same cut. This is the last mortise I'm cutting for the small cross members. Uh, I've had to cut four of those. And these are not going to be through tenons. I cut my tenons off short and um, they're just going to be glued in there. These are going to be glued. So I've cut my knife wall all around. Use my bracing bit to drill, uh, to drill four holes because it's been much easier that way. And that's today's project, is at minimum, to get these four mortises cut and get those tenons fitted in there. Before, you can probably see what I'm doing here now. We have two end sets of leg posts with a tenon and then uh, our tabletop will sit right on top of these tenons here and come right out flush 
with the outside edge of the posts and then I have um, a tenon or a, a cross member to go lengthways that'll be through tenon so all the way through these posts and they'll go this way and probably up higher probably up midway up the posts to give it uh, strength in multiple directions so I'm super happy with how it's turned out it's awesome to finally see what I had in my mind what I had drawn up it's awesome to finally see it start to come to life of course I've got to take it apart again glue it put it back together and I'm gonna plane it all down so it's nice and smooth lots of dings and stuff in it now from turning it and hammering it around so many times but uh, it's really nice my skills are coming along big time uh, big improvements because I'm doing so much of each task I'm just using the chisels for for hours on end uh, anyways it's enough chatting hope you liked the video guys if you did hit the like button leave me a comment down below progress is coming along slow when I'm showing you as I'm doing it but uh, hope you're enjoying it subscribe to my channel follow the rest of the series thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video